So take a look at this gay activist who is pro-Palestine. Would you say you're pro-Palestine or pro-Israel? Pro-Palestine. As a gay man, I would be punished and or put in prison or killed if I were openly gay in Palestine. How do you react to that? I didn't know that. So It is illegal to be gay in Palestine. You are punished by is prison or death. Is Israel? No, Israel has gay pride. Okay. Israel is completely open to lesbian and gay people. So Palestine sure. puts them in prison or kills them. You, were, you weren't aware of that? I was not aware of that, no. So that does pose an interesting aspect. Have you seen uh, the Queers for Palestine movement? It's a very it's a very common movement, but I don't see any Muslims for queer movements. Uh, yes. That's where it gets gray, right? Like, that's where I well, feel well, like... Well, for me, it's not gray. I am fearful of Islam because there is no Islamic country on earth that embraces me as a gay man. So, okay, okay, so maybe I'm confused because Israel, which is an, still an Islam country, right? No, 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 Jewish. Okay, 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 okay. So Israel's Jewish, Palestinians are Islamic. Okay. So we've all been wondering, how in the world are we seeing trans for Palestine movements out there? This is why that explains it. Now, in reality, this shows you that a lot of people who are very militant about certain agendas really don't know anything about it. And yet they are willing to destroy the credibility and even careers of other people who oppose them. And again, they often don't even know what they're defending. I think this video really illustrates that point.